special method names are names of methods that have special powers. So certain names are special because they have built-in behavior in the Python language. That means the Python interpreter already knows what to do with them. These names always start and end with two underscores. We've seen a few examples already. So in it was the constructor function. This is the method that gets invoked automatically when an object is constructed. Wrapper is a method that's invoked to display an object as a string in an interactive session. Add is a new one. This method gets invoked when you add one object to another using the plus operator. Bool is new too. That method is invoked to convert any object to true or false. Now, some objects are true values and some objects are false values, and we figure that out with bool. So here's some code the old way. We'll bind 0, 1, and 2 to their respective integers. Adding 1 and 2 gives you 3. 0 is a false value, and 1 is a true value. I could get the same behavior using these built-in special methods directly by saying 1.add2 to get 3, or 0.bool and 1.bool to get false and true. So if we want new classes that we create to work with the plus operator, we just define the add method. And if we want them to work with bool, we just define a bool method. OK, so let's focus on add here. Adding instances of user-defined classes just invokes the underscore underscore add underscore underscore method, which is a special method name. So here's what we'll do. We'll say there are numbers, and numbers can be added using plus and times, and we'll just look up our old add and mul functions, which are not special method names. These are just regular method names. But we wrote them already, so we'll keep using them. Once we define that this is how numbers are added together, all we have to do is add number as a base class to rational, and then we can start adding rationals together using plus. We also could have just ignored number entirely and changed these names to underscore underscore add and underscore underscore mul. But then the old add and mul methods wouldn't work anymore, and we wouldn't be able to continue developing our example. So we're going to do it this way with a hierarchy. Number is the base class. Rational is the subclass. If we want to add the same functionality to complex numbers, then we just make complex a subclass of number. And since it has an add and a mole method already, we can now use plus and times. OK, so here's what I'm suggesting. We create a number class. We define add to be adding self and other, and mul to be multiplying self and other. Seems simple enough. We do need to relate these things together using inheritance. We also need to return these values, of course. And then we can say things like rational one third plus rational one sixth is one half. Or if I set i to be a complex number and I then compute i times i, I'll get negative one in the polar representation. Great. If you want to find more information about special method names in general, you can read a chapter about it in another book called Dive into Python 3, which is free online. And there's a full description within the documentation at docs.python.org. So I'm not going to go through all the names, but basically every operator has a special method name associated with it so that you can create objects that interact with the built-in operators of the language in any way that you want.